so I drank the Kool-Aid and I like it. I got the Dyson Pro and I absolutely love it. So I figured this would be a good time to do a blow dry tutorial, not to do on other people, but to do on yourself. So we're gonna start by getting our hair wet. This seems counterproductive, but blow drying isn't just for drying your hair, it's also for helping style it. Blow drying is actually even more important than what product you use. But anyway, you can spray a little bit of water on your hair like I'm doing, or if you're just out of the shower, just towel dry it. Now I'm gonna spray some statement grooming spray in my hair. It's gonna help with styling my hair and with protecting against the heat from the blow dryer. Also, this stuff smells absolutely amazing, so I highly recommend it. And then once you've sprayed a good amount of this stuff in your hair and rubbed it all around, then you can move on to the blow drying. Since this is more for personal use, I'm gonna make it simple because I know that's what we all want when we're getting ready. But while your hair is drying with the blow dryer, blow dry it in each direction, you know, forward, back, side to side, so that we can give the hair some good movement and texture. Then once it's all the way dry, we can worry about what we're gonna do with the style. A little tip for blow drying your whirl, AKA your cowlick, is finding the center of it with your finger and then blow drying all around with your fingers still on it so you're holding down all the hairs in the center. That'll help smooth out your cowlick and prevent from having anything stick up. So now I'm gonna blow dry everything forward and I'm gonna wear the front up so I want more volume. And the way I'm going to get that is by blow drying down and then blow drying it back up. And by the way, I'm using my blow dryer on high heat and high power. And I'm just gonna keep blow drying the front around, up and to the side until it stays where I want it to. Like I said earlier, blow drying does more for styling your hair than the product does. You can already see how much control on my style I'm getting without even using a holding product. Also, when you're done blow drying, before we go on to the product, you wanna go back over everything with a shot of cold air. Hot air helps you mold your hair and cold air helps it set. Now I'm gonna be adding a product to add just a little bit of hold and some texture. I'm using dry clay, which is also by statement and also smells amazing and as you saw i only scooped out a little bit because we really don't need a lot you can see my hair is already pretty much styled and staying in place you could argue i don't even really need to use any more products but i really like the texture i get from this clay so i'm going to rub it through my hands until it gets warm and spreads all the way through getting it in between my fingers and everything if you can still see any product on your hands then you have too much now what i'm about to say is extremely important and I know every single guy out there is guilty of this. Every last one of you. Do not put the product in the front of your hair first. I know that may come as a surprise. You need to start at the back and work your way forward. That way you don't smear too much product off in the front from the get-go and have a hard time moving it through the rest of your hair while also smearing the front down and making it lay down or just look weird. So like you saw, I'm basically just combing through with my fingers, which is why I got product in between my fingers and sort of massaging the product all the way through my hair down to the root. And when you put all that together, you get an even application that looks nice and natural. But anyway, please like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff, and I'll get out of your hair now.